fly in one of those? A few times, sure. So lucky. Didn't feel like it at the time. Get shoved into a middle seat, pay 12 bucks for a sandwich. Dude, you got to go up in the sky. Yeah, well, so did they. Grim. So everything came crashing down in one day? Pretty much. How? I mean, no one's infected with cordyceps. Everybody's fine, eating in restaurants and flying in planes and then all at once. How did it even start? If you have to get bit to be infected, then who bit the first person? Was it a monkey? I bet it was a monkey. It wasn't a monkey. I thought you went to school. Bedra school? You know, teaches how their shitty government failed to prevent a pandemic. No one knows for sure, but the best guess, cordyceps mutated. Some of it got into the food supply, probably a basic ingredient like flour or sugar. There were certain brands of food that were sold everywhere, all across the country, across the world. Bread, cereal, pancake mix. You eat enough of it, it'll get you infected. So the tainted food all hits the store shelves around the same time Thursday. People bought it, ate some Thursday night or Friday morning. Day goes on. They started to get sick. Afternoon, evening, they got worse. Then they started biting. Friday night, September 26, 2003. By Monday, everything was gone. It makes more sense than monkeys. Thanks. Sure. What? We'll cut across the woods here. Isn't the road easier? Yeah, it's just... There's... Stuff up there you shouldn't see. Oh, no, I have to see. I don't want you to. Serious, Ellie. Can it hurt me? No. Aren't you honest, man? Should have said axe murderer. Ah, uh, whatever it was, I think it's gone. A week after outbreak day, soldiers went through the countryside, evacuated the small towns, told you you were going to a QZ, and you were, if there was room. If there wasn't, these people weren't sick? No, probably not. I kill them. Why not just leave them be? Dead people can't be infected. 